Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the com video. We're going to be talking about graphics cards once again. The GPU industry has been going absolutely crazy over the past couple of weeks slash couple of months with a myriad of very important releases and upcoming releases. For example, the RX 480 and its crazy price performance, the absolute stellar performance of the GTX 1080, the upcoming 1070, and a whole bunch of other GPUs as well. I haven't been this excited in terms of GPUs in a long ass time. Uh, back when, say, the 9700 Pros burst onto the scene, that's the type of uh, the type of momentum we're seeing here. Anyway, regardless of all of that, Nvidia's GP102 and a whole bunch of other Nvidia cards are supposedly doing the rounds and testing, and this comes to us from various uh, Ada64 changelogs and um, Pascal SKUs which have popped up in PCI device IDs in those changelogs. So what are we seeing? Well the first is the GP102 known as the 400A1. It's not exactly clear with whether this is going to be the 1080 Ti which obviously would be the 980 Ti successor or whether it's going to be a new Titan or something slightly different. We don't know the specifications of the card, rather obviously. For those who are unfamiliar with the full GP100, it has 3,840 CUDA cores. Currently the highest end GPU, at least as far as we know that is being tested or out, is the GP100 found within the Tesla P100, which has 3,584 CUDA cores. This means that the upcoming card probably features between those numbers and the 2560 found within the current 1080. What number that actually is, I guess, really depends whether it's the Titan or whether it's the 1080 Ti and how much of a difference NVIDIA actually wants to make between the 1080 Ti and, of course, the Titan. As one can probably imagine, NVIDIA also pushing the Quadro and Tesla market and therefore are bringing up GPUs to, well, compete in that area. We're not exactly sure what which is which, but GP104, 725, 950, 975 and 985 by many are being touted as the latest entries into both the Quadro and Tesla lineup and what exactly those specifications are going to be, we just don't know yet. There are also a couple of GP106 chips supposedly being tested, and finally, one can imagine that GP106 uh, let's see, dash 300 and 400 are most likely going to be the 1060 and 1050 respectively, and we could also be seeing the 1050, uh, sorry, 750 to be the Quadro. Another piece of uh, interesting news concerning the, uh, well, whether it's the Titan or whether it's the Ti, is that a new board, a new uh, chip board, uh, you know, PCB, has actually passed some testing. Now, this testing is by the Korean certification office known as National Radio Research Agency. And um, this board, called PG611, has a couple of potential uses, which one's the actual real goal of the board, or whether it's something entirely different, we don't know yet. But the first is potentially the Tesla P100. This, of course, is the card that was debuted at GTC, and uh, NVIDIA talked a hell of a lot about their white papers about this bloody thing, and obviously it's going to be for heavy compute uses, and I just mentioned some of the specifications earlier. But the other possibility is the so-called Big Pascal. Now, whether this Pascal is going to be the GP102 that we've talked about or some other variant, we just don't know yet. But it would fit within the naming scheme of previous NVIDIA, um, of previous NVIDIA boards. So, I guess the big question is, what the hell does that mean for you as a customer? Because obviously we can talk all day about cards which are potentially going to be released. But what is their time frame? Well, really, pretty much whenever NVIDIA feel like it. 
The fact of the matter is, at the moment, AMD R and NVIDIA are basically competing in very different markets. My guess is that they're probably going to want to get the 1060 out earlier. It's going to be really interesting to see how the 1060 competes in terms of price and performance versus the RX 480. And really, it could be that NVIDIA just have to price their card more expensive than AMD. But it also could be that both companies are at basically trading blow prices, which would be absolutely fantastic for the customer. But ignoring the 1060, keeping to the ultra high end, really, NVIDIA only have to worry about Vega unless, of course, there is some other GPU that AMD aren't telling us about, which is obviously possible. If that's the case, Vega, um, from what we understand, is being brought forward to, let's say, the third to fourth quarter this year, which means that it really depends on several factors. The first, pricing. The second, how much of a performance difference is there between the 1080 and the high-end Vega? Is there going to be any performance difference? Is Vega going to outperform the 1080? Assume yes for a moment. How much buy? If so, if it does have a performance improvement, let's say, for the sake of argument, that the top-end Vega part is let's say 25% faster than the high-end card from NVIDIA at the moment, the 1080, then really NVIDIA have no choice but to release the 1080 tie. But really, it comes down to NVIDIA's own internal processors. To give you an idea of how the GM204 series was uh, released, the GTX 970 and 980 debuted in September 18th, 2014. Okay, didn't realise it was that long ago. <laughs> the 980 Ti was June 2nd, 2015, which was, let's, for sake of this video, say roughly 9-10 months later. And the Titan X came out in March 17th, 2015 which is once again roughly about six months difference i'm obviously rounding it up here not to the day um so if you start factoring that in that means that we can possibly see the new titan and the ties released let's say christmas to maybe early february depending whether that's really going to make a difference in the long run, whether NVIDIA are going to stick to that, whether they're going to go for something different, your guess, unfortunately, is as good as mine. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. And if you can like, share, subscribe, do that type of stuff, I'd greatly appreciate it. Bye for now.